Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to my channel, Taylor here. So, today's video is going to be a little bit different. So, first and foremost, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the new subscribers that I have and um, how quickly my channel is growing. I've gotten a ton of subscribers this week and that just feels fantastic. Um, I know I haven't really been posting this week and that's because I was visiting family. I will actually be posting a vlog about it tomorrow and, and you know, some stuff that happened so look out for that but anyways um so this video is going to be a little bit different um i am going to be reacting to gabby hannah's honestly video um because i heard the song and a lot of it resonated with me as someone that's dated a pathological liar i've well i've dated a ton of liars and cheaters i mean that's just regular relationship stuff um but no i actually a few years ago um during a pretty dark time in my life actually like one of the um toughest times in my life i ended up um dating a pathological liar who lied about everything not still don't really know why um but so any, anyways this song is um sort of is dedicated to that and about her sort of dealing with it and so i wanted to kind of watch the video and sort of react to it um and, and really kind of you know react to the lyrics and things like that uh I get to do the YouTuber tag in my title, so that's awesome as well. So YouTuber tag for views. Yay. Uh, so anyway, but next week I will be back to doing K-pop and Q-pop reactions and, and travel things and whatnot. Uh, I'm not going to start like reacting to YouTubers stuff or whatever all the time. It was just this particular song in general and what it means that I, I wanted to, um, you know, react to it and, and sort of um, kind of watch. So, I'm excited to watch it with you guys, and let's just, like, dive in. White lines, but they're getting dark. Blurred lines, but they're getting clearer. Just tell the truth, baby. She looks really good. She's lost a lot of weight. If you haven't seen Gabby Hanna's channel, she's a YouTuber. You need to check it out. I'll, I'll link it down below along with this video. I can't seem to get a straight answer. Don't trust you, but who's to blame? I love the way the camera is panning like this and showing, ooh, okay, and showing like different sides and, and, and uh, not different poses. I, I like that. When she's talking about losing her sanity and stuff, that's really good visuals. Okay, dancing. I like how the song, there's a lot of like, um, sort of back and forth with herself of, 
am um you're calling me a liar am i lying like it's just like this kind of back and forth of uncertainty i love that that's so true cross my heart and hope to die you never cross my fucking mind do you know what your little lies do you know what i have to fight through nothing that you say is mildly true spit deceit through shifty smiles to faces you've had for a while you act like such a fucking child you oh you know you're so hostile to me i'm feeling homicidal you better run and try and hide I love how she's like trapped, but she's struggling and making it worse for herself. Like, the visuals of this are amazing. Wow. <laughs> wow, we've got a... We need like a minute on that one to like... Decompress. That was... That was everything. Like that was... That was an, ama that was an amazing song. That was fantastic. And I think like her... Her expressing her truth that way in such a creative way, especially since she is a singer and, and things like that. I know that that helped her a lot and she... And she said that it did and everything she she actually posted several different videos about um dating this person so i, I know that she like has dealt with been dealing with it and everything but yeah th those lyrics were were really really good like the, the the back and forth of i you know you call me a liar but am i a liar like and the really that second part of the song where she's struggling and she's only making it worse for herself like she keeps wrapping herself more and more into it that's so accurate and true and um like i i it it, it was a few years ago whenever i i dated the guy that was a pathological liar and i'm i'm saying that and like i'm over it i'm better now and everything that's not it's not something that's like still affecting me or in, in that way but it, it is it is something that's like big that did happen um and it was a very low point in my life one of my family members was extremely sick and i was having to deal with that and um i was basically dealing with it by myself i didn't have anybody i, I was completely like alone and i was sort of fighting with the rest of my family and there uh, there was just all of this um stuff happening and going on and then i met this guy and he seemed literally perfect and, and was far too perfect and far too interested in the, in everything that i was interested in and and you know you know but told me very little of his life and i was just so alone and broken and everything at the time that um i just wanted to give in and at least have some support and have someone help me. And I, I know that for my specific situation and circumstance, that this is one of the main reasons why we stayed together as long as we did. Um, just because it was, it, it, uh, I, it was kind of picking the lesser of two evils, you know, like do, do I deal with someone who's constantly lying all the time for no reason? Or do I, you know, deal with this by myself like deal with everything that I'm going through and he was such a huge support in that that aspect that I didn't want to lose that support because it was all that I had at the time but I, I mean even when I first met him he lied about every he lied about where he was from he, he lied about you know his family he lied about his he used a fake accent to talk um and I don't I don't know why I, I don't know it, it wasn't that it it wasn't that the lies made him more interesting, like, because he didn't 
actually do enough research on it. I, I don't think he was that great of a liar, but it was just more of like a habit. You know, like he would say where he's from, but he couldn't provide much information of that other than kind of saying where he's from. So, you know, you have no backstory on that. You know, he said parts and pieces about his family, but I really didn't know them, you know, um, or meet them or know anything about them. So it, it was just, it was random things, but it was basically like everything, you know, it's, it, it was, it was a lot deeper and more than just him lying about like where he's going or who he's talking to or texting or whatever. It was just, um, you know, about events that happened in his childhood. And, you know, I, I knew he was lying because if, if you tried to dive into it or ask more more than one question or really ask anything about it, he doesn't remember any of it or he has no knowledge of that or, you know, it's he just kind of stops talking about it. And then if you circle back to it, like I, I'm one of those people that I, I'll like, you know, remember things that you tell me because I want to, of course, remember stuff about you or the, part, the, part, the person I'm with or things like that. Um, it would change, like the story would 100% change. The people that were there would change. The time period that it happened would change. So it was like he told all these lies and couldn't remember which ones that he told. And trying to call him on it made, you know, he kind of turned around and made me feel crazy for it because you know, and to his point, um, it's like, well, it's my life. How are you going to argue with me about my life? You know, like, I know what happened to me, so it, you're misremembering it. And, like, having stuff like that told to me, d th there was a part of that that did make me feel crazy because I'm like, yeah, I, I know for a fact you said this happened and this happened, and I even wrote it down, but how am I going to tell someone else about their life? And who and why would they lie you know that, that's the thing why would you lie about where you're from if why like what benefit would that have you're not there now you know why would you lie about everything about your family and, and give very little to no information about it you know and, and your your exes and your friends i mean i know why he lied about his exes he treated them all badly but i mean like i i, I don't know i'm i'm one of those people where i constantly try to give people the benefit of the doubt like i feel bad if i don't even when they're strangers because i'm of this mindset of why would you lie you know if, if there's if i can't if i can't perceive a purpose in lying like if there there's no benefit to you then i just assume and take for granted that you're telling the truth if if i meet you off the street uh as a random stranger or anything, I, I just I just assume that, you know, if you if you came up to me and told me that you just met I don't know, Obama, like maybe you're lying, but what benefit would you have? Like what what good would it do, you know? So that I, I and I do that and then I also when people apologize to me and stuff, I continuously want to give them multiple chances because I always try to believe that people grow. I've grown as, I, as I've gotten older. I, I've learned lessons and I, I've seen how I, something that I did affected a person. So I always try to think that other people mean when they say sorry. And he would say sorry sometimes, and but it was always a backhanded apology to blame me. You know, I'm, well, I'm sorry about lying about this, but had you not gone through my phone, you wouldn't have seen it. Well, that's not, you know, it's, I wasn't even going through your phone. I was just standing next to it and it lit up. Like, I mean, I wasn't like, you know, searching for it, it, things like that. Um, and it's just, it's, it was so, well, I care about you and I am going to change or I'm going to stop or there's nothing really to change, just stop fixating on these little things and it's like well it's not little you're talking to your ex or you're lying about places you're going to or you know you're lying about your entire personality and then at some point you know like she said in the song about um you're a stranger it's it's like it's kind of like having to constantly get to know a new person but they're the same person and it starts to drive you mad like because there would be times where he would tell me things about him and then 
talk about it again at another time and it wasn't necessarily me asking about it and the story changed and I was like that's different and so it was I was sitting there and like I would sit there and be like am I just crazy am I am I mixing up exes am I like am I do I have so much going on that I'm just misremembering his stories and it started to make me feel terrible you know and and it, it was even stuff, it wasn't even stuff that was far away, you know, that happened when he was a child or anything. It was like things with work, you know, like it, it would just be tell me something that it happened at work. And he would always give a lot of unnecessary information, like to a simple question. Hey, did you have a good day at work? Oh, yeah. And then we also had this happen and this weird thing happen. And my boss said this and, and like just a lot of, you know, a, a lot of details and just un not unprovokingly you, if i if i asked you if you had a good day at work and then that's it if you did something different you know if you went and cheated on me or whatever then i wasn't going to really pry into it i wasn't like that so but he'd say that and then it would be like you know a week later or something um somehow we'd be back on the topic of what happened at work that day or or whatever or maybe what he told me about happening did actually happen but it happened that day rather than last week so then i would be like wait didn't that happened last week or that story changed from what you told me like you know a week ago what happened last Monday or whatever and so it was like it was just this kind of like constant sort of I feel like I'm going crazy because I don't have a terrible memory like I, so it, it was I, I just was going crazy because I, I was like thinking that I was creating these stories in my head for no reason or was just misremembering it because I'm a terrible person. And he kind of tried to make me feel that way too. You know, he, he fed into that fire of, you just don't pay attention when I talk. And you're so consumed and worry about your, worried about yourself and what you're going through that you just don't care. And that made me feel awful too. So it, it was just this, this constant back and forth of mind games of me thinking that I'm going crazy and me being like, well, I, it must be this and, and everything and then it, it, it was that I was over dramatic and blowing it out of proportion and then that's how he would turn around something even like if I, I found out he was texting someone that he shouldn't be or or on an app he shouldn't be or whatever then it was you're just blowing this out of proportion like you did with this thing and, and, and blah, blah blah and it just it made me feel crazy and like a terrible person and to the point of where I just kind of blocked it all out and, and stopped caring. I just, I just let him tell me whatever it was he wanted to tell me and I never asked about it or, or anything and it was just this constant gnawing at the back of my mind of knowing that I'm being lied to and not doing anything about it. Um, and I, I know that a lot of it was just because at the time I needed support and I needed someone. And honestly, I'll always forever be grateful for him for that. He might have lied about everything about himself and, you know, might have not, like, loved me or whatever. But um, he helped me at a time where I was completely alone. And for that, I will always be grateful to him. Um, but it was also the craziest time that I personally have ever felt. It was such an emotional, it took such an emotional and mental toll on me to constantly feel like I'm this bad person because I can't, because I can't remember all the different stories that he's told me and he can't remember them. And then it's just this, this back and forth, um, a, a feeling like you're, you're just a bad person and you're, you're crazy and you know you're over dramatic and you're whatever and it just it, it and there was also a part of me that was prideful I, I don't like to let a lot of people in because I don't want to get hurt so I, I tend to just shut myself out in general because I'd rather not risk getting hurt it it, it takes me so long to heal and to get over things so um there was a part of me that was just so prideful that was like, well, you couldn't have been with him for so long and he lied about so much and just, you know, let it, and, and you let him get away with it. Like, that's not you and, um, you know, you're you're above this and, and what and whatnot and you're just being dramatic and like, so it, it was, there's part of it that was being prideful, but it was just, it was like, it was trying to figure out what I was more mad at. So I'm more mad that I didn't know him was I like that? Was I mad at the stranger? Was I mad that he lied about everything? Um, and that like, 
was I mad that he made me feel crazy or was I mad at myself for allowing all these things to happen and despite all of the signs and evidence and everything else like that and knowing that he's lying you know I and it was it was coming to the realization that I needed to leave the situation that allowed me to just wash my hands of it and not care. It, it was extremely difficult to do, but I knew that I, I reached a point where my mental health was at such a high risk, especially with what I was already dealing with with my family, um, that I just, I was like, you know what, I'd rather be alone. I can do this alone and it, it's got to be easier than this. Then, then yes, I have support, and yes, I have someone, but I don't know who that someone is. I don't know who I'm in bed with. I don't know who I'm talking to every day, and the and every time I find out a new and different and just different fact or truth or whatever about you, it's changed, and I don't know whether or not that's the truth or not. And you know, it's just it's it was constant and it was constantly something that I was thinking about and affected by and it just it was it was so difficult but now I'm in a much better place I have no idea what he's doing I could care less um, you know I moved on from that from that like I said that was years ago um, and it's it helped me to grow as a person and so that that is fantastic um, and it made me a little bit more apprehensive about dealing with people, like I should be. It made me more conscientious of interactions that I have with guys and people that I let in, and that's always a good thing. Um, so, you know, I, I think that, I think that her song was right on in terms of just the confusion, the her feelings, the way that it makes you feel being lied to and and feeling crazy that's just it's 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 a hundred percent like just just the way it is so i think that that's enough of me kind of going on about my past and ranting for a lot longer than i i think i intended to do uh, so i apologize about that this will be kind of a longer video i think uh but yes if you haven't seen um gabby hannah's honestly then I'm, uh, I'm gonna link it below definitely go watch it it's i mean if you've seen if you watch this video then you saw it but you should hear it just the just video itself without my commentary um that so i'll link that down below definitely go watch it it's amazing and like i said next week i will return to k-pop and q-pop reactions and travel stuff i will be posting a vlog tomorrow of the uh of the events that happened and transpired yesterday and um just you know this week in general so um do check that out and i do appreciate you guys watching this and you know sticking through it uh while i kind of went on about my past and you know if you guys want to talk in uh in, in the comments and everything just if you ha want to have your own experience that you want to share of uh, a liar you dated or anybody that you dated that you know hurt that that was hurtful in some way um and, and you just feel the need that you want to talk about it or or you know just kind of say something then comment below i'll i'll respond and we can we can talk together that's completely fine trust me i've dated the worst of the worst i've had plenty of bad relationships that is that that relationship is honestly probably not even my worst relationship to be honest so um but it was it was pretty bad but um yeah so i uh it, i can definitely kind of relate to that aspect and sometimes people just need to just say what happened to them and just kind of get it off their chest and talk and i think that's kind of what this was i mean i'm i'm over it and it, it was you know years ago like i said and stuff but it's still always helpful to sort of say it and acknowledge it and that's not really something that i ever really did was sort of just acknowledge i i acknowledge that he was a liar and stuff yes but just acknowledging you know my me being in the situation and my feelings towards it so that's always an important thing to do and a part of growth uh anyways if you guys want to see um other reaction videos more fun ones than this such as uh my k-pop reactions then click here and if you guys want to see my q-pop reactions then click here and if you guys want to see travel related stuff then click up here to watch like product reviews and things like that and don't forget to um like comment and subscribe down below make sure you hit the little bell notification next to the subscribe so you're no you're notified as soon as i make new videos i i release several videos a week so be sure to check those out and i will see you guys around
around the world. Bye. Say you're talking to me, honestly.